Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is the Lynx Vision 8 Windows 10 gaming tablet. It's reminiscent of Razer's Edge tablet from a few years ago that also featured a detachable Xbox style game controller. But there's a major difference, the price. New, the Razer tablet cost over $1,000 and this cost less than $150. Sure, it's weaker spec wise, but if you're on a budget, need a portable gaming solution or just like cool looking tech, perhaps this may be for you. So should you buy this? Well, Let's look at the tablet itself. It's not the lightest device you'll ever use and it only features a 1280 by 800 resolution screen which isn't brilliant but it's not bad either. Holding it in your hands and it feels incredibly sturdy with a smooth curved finish and the back of it has a very nice finish too. Expect fingerprints everywhere. Inside we have an Intel Cherry Trail X5 1.4 GHz quad core CPU, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage along with Windows 10 Home. Not to forget Intel HD graphics which shouldn't put you off because integrated graphics have come a long way and are certainly quite capable at lower resolutions. Plus for the price I can't complain. Before we get into the gaming aspect I'd like to say that this is a pretty snappy device to use. Internet browsing is quick, video playback and HD streaming is also flawless and it actually has pretty good speakers. It took me ages to set this screen recording software up so maybe not three months uh, it's also got a set of cameras, one front and one back, which really aren't worth writing home about. A common occurrence not only with cheaper tablets, but phones too. So here's the front camera. Not much going on here. Whoa, why did it zoom in? <laughs> Both pretty bad. Enough with the features though, because if you buy one of these, you've probably just got one thing on your mind. Gaming. The detachable Xbox controller is very comfortable, the thumbsticks have excellent grip and buttons work well but the D-pad is a little flat and the left and right triggers don't have much spring to them. I can imagine that one day I'll push them down and they just won't come back up again. The tablet slots right into the controller here and it's activated by a little switch underneath. Remember, you don't just have to rely on the power of the tablet thanks to the game streaming available from Steam and of course Xbox One. I have however installed Fallout New Vegas to test out the internal specs first as although it's not the most demanding game it should still give our device here a little bit of a challenge. Fallout New Vegas actually ran very well. I did lower the resolution to 1280 by 720 and achieved around 40 frames per second with the low settings at this resolution almost constantly. So I was pretty happy with the performance. When the action heats up, you can expect the frame rate to drop a little, but it's nothing that becomes unplayable. The controller also worked very well with this game. But now, let's explore some streaming options. If you want to play a game in another room, you can use Steam's game streaming feature, which allows you to do just that. Simply make sure your PC and this tablet are connected to the same network and access the streaming option from the tablet, and then you should be ready to go. I've loaded up GTA 4 here, and the experience is pretty decent, with the controls working just as well as they would with a game being played directly on the device just like Fallout New Vegas. The same can be done via Xbox One. Simply pair the two and you can play your entire Xbox collection away from your TV. There's also a handful of Xbox controller supported apps on the Windows Store if anything over there appeals to you. Overall, even if you don't want to use this for streaming purposes, you can still enjoy some light gaming on a device that combines the portability of a tablet with the power of a low-end but reasonable for the price gaming machine. It's no gaming PC setup replacement, don't get me wrong, but it might do just fine as a cheap alternative if you're away from home for a couple of days or you're on the road somewhere, but obviously not while you're driving. Products like this are often seen as a gimmick, but I think for the money you actually get a pretty decent tablet too. But gaming, whether it be using the device itself or streaming from another PC, is clearly the target market. I've had a lot of fun with this thing and I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit different, but I saw this thing with the big controller hanging off of it and I just had to try it out. So thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.